full wedge shot can always be a daunting prospect to the regular golfer. So we asked former world number one, Justin Thomas, how he tackles this area of the game. First thing, you have to kind of assess everything, you know, the wind, the, the lie, the, the green, how you want it to spin and, and where you want to leave it and everything like that. And then once you can narrow down where you want to land it, then you have to figure out the wind and everything like that and how much that's going to play. And then you kind of get a number and, and the shot you're going to hit. And then uh, that's just kind of my thought in my head is I want to hit a 110 yard little draw here. So that's just kind of what my process. You're still trying to hit it on your number and get it to spin how you want. Um, it's just, it's like anything, you know, just the, the difference in yardage is the difference in, in height, trajectory, spin, swing, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, you're still just trying to hit that number. I think when I was young, I was just trying to hit far because I was so small. But uh, I mean, it's Steve Stricker has one, you know, one of the best wedge games there is. And I always love how shallow he was and his spin control. Uh, but I mean, you know, you look at guys like Tiger and Phil and what they can do with the wedge in their hands, pretty special. Awkward pitch shots can be the undoing of many amateur golfers, and Thomas highlights a mistake he sees many players make. Often not hitting enough club, uh, first off, and but just and not kind of using different clubs. You know, they get around the green and uh, they just kind of automatically go to one club as opposed to realizing a shot requires a different club and hitting a different type of shot.